Welcome to Encouragement in Prayer. I want to thank you for the, watching the video and sharing it with your friends and your family. Today, I want to give a special, special message for this new year. A message that of change that is to come. New things that will come and that has come. Today I'll be reading from 2 Corinthians verses 5 verses 1 to 17. For we know that if that the tent that is our earthly home destroyed is destroyed we have a building from God a house not made with hands eternal in the heavens for in this tent we groan longing to put our heavenly dwelling to put on our heavenly dwelling if indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked for while we are still in this tent we groan being burdened not that we would be unclothed but that we would be further clothed so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life he who has prepared us for this very thing is God who has given us the spirit as a guarantee so we are always of good courage we know that while we are at home in the body we are away from the Lord for we walk by faith not by sight yes we are of good courage and we would rather be away from the body at home and at home with the Lord so whether we are at home or away we make it our aim to please him for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in his body for the good or evil therefore knowing the fear of the Lord we persuade others but what we are or is known to God and I hope it is known also to your conscience we are not commending ourselves to you again but giving you cause to boast about us so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart for if we are beside ourselves it is for God if we are in a right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for who for him for who the sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we have once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, Behold, the new has come. Now, the new things have come. We have a home. For now, for we know that if the tent is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternally in the heavens. A tent is a temporary structure 
What is temporary is not to be considered permanent. We do not dwell in the things that are, in, are temporary. Our thoughts and our purpose should be on the permanent, the eternal. Our purpose and thoughts should be the, on the spiritual body that we are now clothed in. 2021 has brought many reasons that brought sadness and devastation to us. We have lost loved ones. Some of us have faced sickness contracting the coronavirus. We had to be separated from our household members. We had to leave our homes to be separated from our loved ones so that we could be cured and for their protection. We may have even desired to be with our Lord over dealing with our sickness and the pain that we went through. We groaned because of our situation. It is natural to want to escape from painful and stressful situations. But God has prepared us for these things. We do not need to worry or fear. God's preparedness comes with the Spirit. We have a guarantee from God Himself. We have God's guarantee that we will endure whatever we are going through. No matter what happens, we can have courage, but not just courage, but good courage. Looking at the Greek word, good courage is having always, and having courage always. In all things, no matter what we see happening around us, or to us, we can remain steadfast. We can walk and not weary. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. We can walk by faith that our Lord, our God, will take care of us as we carry out the purpose and plan that He has for us, making Him pleased in us. For that day we will all stand in front of our Lord to be held accountable from everything that we do. We will be judged at the judgment seat. What is our purpose while we are in our temporary home, in our tent? Reconciliation. Persuade. Encourage our brothers and sisters. We do not need to prove ourselves to each other. We know that we are of God. We encourage each other on how we live, how we are to live and what to look at. We do not look at on the appearance of people, of what we think they can do. We look at the heart of the person. What is it that they care about and what do they love? Do they love the things that the world can give? Or is their love for God? Convince those who do not know God. To these we are to share the gospel in word and in deed. Our actions must back up what we say. This is the will of God. That we worship Him, honor God, and that no one will perish, make disciples. For it is Christ who needs to control us, leading us. We no longer are our own, 
but we are of Christ and we must live as Christ because Christ is in us because he died for us through this we are a new creation we no longer look or worry about the old things the natural things we look now at the new in the eyes of the Spirit. Our thinking must change. We put away the old carnal thinking of the world. The world tells, tells us we have to fear, but God tells us we have nothing to fear. When we are in Him and He is in us, we no longer look at people in the natural. We do not look and make judgment from what we see with our natural eyes. We now look. We now are to look at people on the inside. We look at the heart of the person. The outside of the person can be deceiving. The outside of the person can say they are wealthy and wise. They, are may, they may appear to be a Christian. But their heart may not be of God. The heart of the person cannot lie. What is in the heart of the person comes out of the mouth and in their actions. But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart and this defiles a person. Matthew 15 verse 18. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Proverbs 10 verse 11 And Psalms 15 2 He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart. In summary, our home is not here. What we have here in this body is temporary. We do not have to fear what can kill the body, but God, through His Spirit, prepares us for what we will go through. Starting today, let go of things from the past. Let go of the mistakes, shame, the hurt, the pride. Let go of what is keeping you from the change from old to new. Let go, but do not forget. Forgetting leads to repeating. We don't want to re want. We don't want to repeat. We want now. We don't want to repeat. We want now. We shouldn't do it. We don't, again, let me say this again, we don't want to repeat. We, what we want, we know we shouldn't do. Let the Holy Spirit begin a new work in you. I cannot tell you what the year 2022 will bring, but whatever we do, go through, God can please us. He has been there for us. We can have courage in all things, always living by faith. Living in faith, we can continue our purpose into the coming of Jesus for His bride, encouraging each other and convincing others of the gospel of Jesus Christ, spreading the gospel in word and deed. Honor God make disciples Lord I just want to pray that whatever this year brings to us that we can stand fast in your word keeping our faith strong holding on to the hope that is to come that one day we will be with you 
And until then, we are to continue to doing your will and the purpose that you have given each of us in our own way. We share the gospel. We encourage others. So your church will continue to grow. That one day when you come and you reap those that are waiting for you, that accepted you, It will be a great harvest. And together, the sower and the reaper will rejoice together. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. If you'd like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to come into your heart and your life, I ask you to pray with me right now in a prayer of salvation. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and to cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, and believe that Jesus Christ is God, believing that he will save you from your sins, forgive you of your sins. He is now your Lord and Master. He lives within you. I ask you to continue to pray to him with sincere heart to lead you to lead you in the life that He wants you to live pure and holy and to read His Word read the Bible and He will always be with you he will always lead you, never to forsake you, never to leave you.